Hey everyone, this is Alex from Geyser coming to you today to talk about how to create your own Geyser using our web app. For those of you that are not familiar with Geyser, it is a platform for creating your own configurable yield farm with any ERC20 token that you'd like to use. You will be able to configure what token you'd like to fund and distribute to the community and how those uh, users can actually earn them by staking a different ERC20 token. And that can be something like a Uniswap LP token to prove that they're providing liquidity in the market, or it could be proof of lending for lending tokens on uh, some other platform. So let's get started. Going to the create page, you can select two tokens, one of which will be the reward token and one of which will be the staking token for the geyser. Uh, by simply putting in the ERC20 address of each token, you'll specify how the geyser will act. So the reward token will be distributed to users of the geyser when they stake the staking token. And once you've defined the two tokens you're going to use and validated that they are the correct ones, you'll be brought to a page to configure the time-based bonuses of the geyser. Part of geyser is incentivizing long-term commitments to staking and holding certain tokens. And we do this by adding a multiplier that users gain over time. The longer they hold their tokens, the larger the multiplier they'll earn. You can define the bonus period length in days, and over that time, the multiplier that a user earns will linearly scale from the multiplier you see on the left side to the multiplier on the right. In this instance, we've set the bonus period length to 365 days, which means over the course of one year, a user's multiplier will grow from 1x all the way to 3x and stay there as long as they stay for their entire year or more. They can of course stake for less than 365 days, but their multiplier won't be as high. At 182 days, they'll only be earning a 2x multiplier on the rewards from their stake. After defining the bonus period, confirm all the information you've put in, and MetaMask will allow you to sign the creation of the contract, and the geyser will be created. Every action taken while making a geyser or, or interacting with a geyser We'll have links to the Etherscan transactions themselves, so you can easily track what's going on uh, from a verified source. In this case, once the transaction is confirmed, it will automatically bring you to the management page of your geyser, where you'll take the next step in funding it. It's important to note that any geysers created by you are fully owned by you, and the geyser team, other users, anyone else will not have control or be able to manage the geyser that you've created. So far we've configured the geyser, but there's no actual tokens inside of it. So the first thing we need to do is approve the geyser to use our distribution token, in this case, TEST. I can then select how much of my distribution token I'd like to fund the geyser with. Here you can see I'm putting in 1,000 tokens to be earned by stakers throughout the lifetime of the geyser. I then set the lock period, which is the amount of time that 1,000 TEST will be distributed over. It will start with zero TEST available to stakers and will unlock over the next 730 days, or basically two years. Finally, I can set when this unlock schedule will begin. I can make it begin immediately by selecting a time in the past or the current time, but I can also state that I want the geyser to begin distributing rewards in the future. In this case, I've selected roughly 24 hours from now. I'll confirm my funding of the geyser, which will send the 1000 TEST into the contract and start releasing them at the predefined time for the next two years. One important thing to note is that you can have multiple funding schedules. In fact, Geyser's vesting schedule, our team's vesting schedule, is based on multiple fundings that we've put into a Geyser with different locking periods and different start dates, which will allow us to create a 90-day, a one-year, and a four-year vesting schedule for the team. As you can see, the geyser is updated and now reflects that there are a thousand tokens locked in it. None of these tokens are actively unlocking because our vesting schedule doesn't begin until tomorrow. After that, they'll unlock over the 730 days that we defined. And now that we've successfully funded our geyser, we can head to the public geyser page, which your users will use to stake and earn rewards. And since the funding schedule doesn't begin until tomorrow, this is actually a boiler. It's going to show the UI for a geyser that is only in a boiling state and is not actually releasing any rewards yet. However, this boiler is publicly available to anyone to use and they're able to start staking to start pre-earning those rewards from their stakes before the geyser actually goes live tomorrow. And there you have it. 
in five minutes, we have deployed a real working geyser to the Ethereum blockchain that is capable of rewarding any distribution token in return for staking any other ERC-20 token. It's that simple through our web app, and I can't wait to make another video to show you how you can stake in a geyser and unstake from one to start earning those rewards that we've put in here.